Hello guys and welcome to another video. Excuse is excuse me if you hear anything in the background. There's just some stuff going on in the back. Don't worry about it. Anyways, um there's some, some music in the background, but anyways, um here is my entire Jurassic Park 30th anniversary collection. So essentially all the Jurassic Park figures that I've gotten in the in the 30th anniversary year some of these are 30th anniversary figures while others are just figures that uh i got oh shit the camera's tricking. okay there we go so some of these are figures that i just got this year and then some are actually the 30th anniversary figures so let's start with some of the figures that i first got so let me start with the with the one basically let me start with the ones um that I got first. Oh god, this video is gonna be like barely unedited basically. Anyways, so the first figure I got was actually I got this guy on eBay alongside the Tiger Velociraptor from the Lost World. So here's Robert Muldoon here. He he came with all of his accessories, but right now I don't really I have them stored somewhere in a drawer. So I'm gonna have to look for those. But yeah, here's uh, Robert Muldoon. He's from the Amber Collection, so around the six inch one twelfth scale, essentially. Um, he has a pretty good figure. Uh, I was meaning to review these figures, but I don't know if I will, so that's why the reason I'm making this video is just to show them off. So I don't know if I'll end up reviewing them, but uh, he's just here to show them off, basically. I, I have him sitting down because he has so much trouble standing because one of his feet are loose. So I'm going to have to fix that. And here's the Tiger Velociraptor. You may have seen this figure in an earlier video that I made earlier this year yeah it's a pretty good figure um, they I, I think they reused that mold a bunch of times in the amber collection they the amber collection was infamously known as Jurassic Park but just the velociraptors because they would only make the human figures and the dinosaurs basically so after that I got I got the Geosternberger from the Hammond collection so this is different from the amber collection it's essentially highly articulated figures but in the three and three quarter inch like the three and three quarter inch scales are like around like four inches almost I think like so the one eight the one eighteenth scale I think this Ford Explorer is also on the one eighteenth scale also. So yeah here's the Geosternbergia from the Lost World. Uh, I got this guy at Target alongside the Lego oh my god what the hell's up on my camera along with the Lego Jurassic Park 30th anniversary figure. I have the box still in storage so I may end up reviewing him at some point hopefully sometime in January maybe who knows. Yeah so this is the figure it's pretty cool. Uh, there is some quality control on mine because the beak's kind of warped and there's some paint chipping but Apart from that, it's pretty decent. Um, okay, let me move these to the side. So this is the one that you may have seen. Also, the Lego Jurassic War Jurassic Park uh, Dilophosaurus ambush set that I did actually review earlier this year, back in July, I think it was. Uh, basically, my thoughts are basically the same. It's a pretty cool little set. You got a little Dilophosaurus. You got the East Dock, and you got Dennis Nedry in there scared for his life it's a pretty cool set and i actually saw the set for um i think it was around 16 dollars on walmart so i think they're on clarence right now so go check your local walmarts or your targets you know they might be on clarence at this point um they're it's a really cool set and it's pretty cheap too so you know afterwards i got this dr alan grant also from the amber collection so he's also six inch scale um he's a pretty cool figure i have him placed displayed with the flare and i love posing this guy next to my indiana jones the adventure series indiana jones that's also six inches it's pretty cool just seeing them side by side you know especially since both jurassic park and indiana jones were directed by steven spielberg the likeness for him it's all right. It looks a little bit. He almost has like a baby face, so it doesn't fully look like Sam Neil, but it's a cool figure nonetheless. So the final thing I got actually got this like today actually is the the I think it was a Walmart exclusive Jurassic Park attack like epic attack Ford Explorer or something like that. Here it is. Here's a, another Velociraptor. This one being in the color scheme of the ones from the first movie oh my god this camera is so trash uh the one from the first movie essentially so this has the more browner color scheme uh 
this one over here is like the tiger velociraptor so it has more of the of the color scheme of the um of the second movie basically that's the james sternberger from the second movie um yeah it's it's decent i actually didn't really buy the set for the raptor i already have enough mattel raptors anyway uh this one's actually different because it actually has like electronics and stuff it's pretty cool really but kind of cheap at the same time he makes noises cool enough and even then mattel doesn't even paint the nails fuck off anyways <laughs> anyways um yeah here's the main reason i got that set was because of the ford explorer i I really wanted a Ford Explorer all my life. In my 10 years of being a Jurassic Park fan, I've always wanted a Ford Explorer. And here it is. And it's pretty cool. It has, even has like a little uh, battle damage feature, kind of like the old Kenner figure, kind of like the old uh, Kenner vehicle, where like you just press it down and like it just basically destroyed. If you have like the T-Rex, which is probably how I'm going to be displaying it, you have the T-Rex, you can actually like flip it over and it'd be like, you know, the T-Rex destroyed uh, the vehicle basically. And it's pretty cool. I'm thinking of getting the Ham Hammond Collection T-Rex, but that's probably be until like next year, maybe. I haven't ordered it, but I'm planning, I really want to get it to display with these, uh, the other figures. And um, yeah, so well, let me clean this up and then I'll do an overview real quick. So there you have it. This was an overview of my Jurassic Park 30th Anniversary Collection. This is a really cool... These are some really cool figures, and I highly recommend them. Um, I actually watched the 30th anniversary re-release of Jurassic Park in August when it came out, and it was super cool, man. I'm gonna have to do a review of the whole movie just because of that one, because just because of that one showing. It was amazing watching it in the theater. Uh, I I really loved it. It was an amazing experience. I don't, I don't, I, don't, I just, I just don't know. Like, I I feel like I understand now how audiences in 1993 felt like when they were watching this movie it was just a phenomenal experience and i really hope that you were able you guys were able to experience that or if you did it hopefully hopefully there'll be some showings later down the line maybe like a 35th anniversary or 40th anniversary they'll probably re-release the, the movie again and hopefully i'll be able to watch it again because that was just a phenomenal experience anyways this is the end of the video um I hope take care and uh, see you guys next video. Goodbye.